The biggest mistake that you can make is allowing the narcissist to disrupt your ability to maintain a routine. When you're dealing with narcissistic abuse, your world gets turned upside down. Suddenly, simple tasks feel overwhelming, and even getting out of bed is burdensome. Today, we'll explore why narcissistic abuse makes it so hard to stick to a routine. We'll dive into the emotional roller coaster it creates, how it affects your motivation, and, most importantly, how you can start to reclaim your daily life. Are you ready for number one? Mood swings. One of the reasons narcissistic abuse makes it hard to maintain a routine is because of the constant mood swings it causes. When you're emotionally unstable, it's tough to stay consistent with things like work, exercise, or even self-care. Dr. Ramani Duvasala, a well-known psychologist, explains that narcissistic abuse creates an emotional roller coaster where you're constantly walking on eggshells, unsure of when the next emotional outburst or manipulation will happen. This unpredictability drains your energy and focus, making it nearly impossible to stick to a steady routine. Let me teach you something. Establish a consistent daily routine with small, manageable goals and incorporate grounding techniques like mindfulness and journaling to help stabilize your emotions. Let's talk about number two, perfectionism. Perfectionism can be a heavy burden when you're dealing with narcissistic abuse. It makes even simple tasks feel like daunting challenges. Abusers often instill an unrealistic need for everything to be flawless. They leave you feeling stuck and never good enough. As Dr. Brene Brown wisely notes, perfectionism is a 20-ton shield we carry around, thinking it will protect us, but it actually holds us back. To combat this, shift your focus from perfection to progress by setting realistic goals and practicing self-compassion. Remember, small steps still lead you forward. Let's move on to number three, control tactics. When you're dealing with a narcissist, their control tactics can throw you off your game. They often deliberately disrupt your routines, making it hard to feel grounded or stable. You might have a plan for your day, but suddenly they'll change things up or create drama that pulls you away from what you are trying to do. As therapist Dr. Judith Orloff points out, narcissists want to keep you in a state of confusion. This constant chaos leaves you feeling off balance. And before you know it, you're struggling to maintain even the simplest routine. Keep this in mind. Set clear boundaries and stay focused on your priorities. Use strategies like time blocking and self-affirmation to retain control over your daily routine. Now let's continue to number four. Manipulation of time. When you're dealing with a narcissist, it's like they have a superpower for wasting your time or hijacking your schedule. Kind of like a magician. But instead of pulling rabbits out of hats, they pull your plans apart. One minute, you're all set to tackle your to-do list, and the next, they've turned your day into a chaotic scavenger hunt for their latest crisis. As time management expert Brian Tracy says, Time management is life management, but with a narcissist, it feels like your life is on someone else's clock. Listen carefully. Set firm boundaries around your schedule. Prioritize your tasks and stick to a time management system that keeps you in control of your day. You shouldn't miss number five. Inconsistent boundaries. When you've been through narcissistic abuse, inconsistent boundaries can mess with your sense of stability. If your boundaries are constantly violated, you might start to feel unsure about what's okay and what's not, which makes it hard to structure your life. You might think, can I say no to this? Or am I allowed to take time for myself? As therapist Dr. Asha Prilliman points out, when your boundaries aren't respected, it's like trying to build a fence that keeps getting knocked down. Without clear boundaries, your days can feel chaotic, 
and sticking to a routine becomes nearly impossible. Listen carefully. To overcome this, start by clearly defining and enforcing your limits. Give yourself permission to prioritize your needs and create routines that protect your well-being. Are you still up for number six? Undermining independence. When you've been through narcissistic abuse, it can chip away at your sense of independence. The abuser often sends messages, whether directly or indirectly, that make you feel like you can't handle things on your own. You might catch yourself thinking, what if I mess this up? Or I need their help for everything. As psychologist Dr. Stephanie Sakais says, narcissistic abuse can lead to a loss of self-esteem and self-worth. Without believing in your ability to manage your own life, it's hard to create the structure you need to thrive. Let me give you some friendly advice. Focus on rebuilding your confidence by taking small, manageable steps towards self-reliance. Remind yourself that you're fully capable of handling your life and routines. Let's keep it moving to number seven. Difficulty prioritizing. When you're stuck in the whirlwind of narcissistic abuse, it's like their needs are the sun and you're just one of the planets spinning around them, trying not to crash. You end up so busy catering to their endless demands that your own life turns into chaos. As Dr. Ramani Dovasula says, narcissists have a way of making everything about them. Instead of handling your to-do list, you're stuck prioritizing their every whim. Consider this tip. To overcome difficulty prioritizing, start by reclaiming your time and focusing on your own needs first. Use tools like lists or time management techniques to regain control over your life. Here comes number eight, loss of identity. When you've been through narcissistic abuse, you can lose a sense of who you are, and that makes it tough to stick to a routine. You might find yourself wondering, what do I even like? Or what do I want to do? This loss of identity can leave you feeling like a blank slate, making it hard to create routines that actually fit you. As psychologist Dr. Sherry Stein says, when you've been with a narcissist, your sense of self can become so distorted that you don't even recognize your reflection. Take note of this. Focus on reconnecting with your true self by exploring your passions, values, and interests, and gradually build routines that reflect who you genuinely are. Moving on to number nine, inconsistent energy levels. When you're dealing with narcissistic abuse, your energy levels are like a yo-yo. One day you're buzzing with energy and the next you can barely drag yourself out of bed. Emotional stress from all the mind games and manipulation throws you into these exhausting highs and lows, making it feel impossible to stick to any routine. As Dr. Gabor Mate says, stress is not just in your head, it's in your body too. So instead of consistently getting things done, you're left wondering whether you should tackle your to-do list or just curl up under a blanket and pretend the world doesn't exist. Spoiler, the blanket often wins. Keep this in mind. Focus on pacing yourself by incorporating rest periods to restore balance and maintain consistency. Finally, we're down to number 10. Reinforcement of negative habits. Narcissistic abuse can make it hard to keep up with healthy routines because the narcissist often reinforces negative habits. They might encourage behaviors like procrastination, neglecting self-care, or even coping in unhealthy ways like overindulging in food or alcohol. It makes it harder to stick to positive routines because you're stuck in a cycle of self-sabotage. According to Dr. George Simon, a psychologist who specializes in manipulative behavior, narcissists often push you into these destructive patterns to keep control over you. Take note of this. Consciously replace unhealthy behaviors with positive ones by setting small, achievable goals 
and surrounding yourself with supportive influences that encourage growth. Indeed, narcissistic abuse can throw a wrench in your routine. The constant manipulation, gaslighting, and emotional exhaustion can leave you feeling lost, unsure, and mentally drained. It's tough to keep up with daily tasks when your mind is constantly dealing with self-doubt or walking on eggshells. But here's the thing, it's not your fault, and you can regain control. It may take time and small steps, but slowly rebuilding a routine is possible. Prioritizing self-care, seeking support, and being kind to yourself are key. Remember this. Healing from this kind of abuse is a process, and it's okay to take things one day at a time.